everyone, welcome to Craft Shop. I'm Dana, your host and DIY expert. Today's episode is extra special for the holidays. To celebrate the season, I'm going to show you how to make fun, holiday-themed crafts you can keep or give as gifts. One of the reasons I love this time of year so much is because all of my family and friends get together and we really enjoy ourselves over holiday meals and events. And of course, we always do a gift exchange. In this episode, I'll make two of my favorite holiday crafts. First, I'm going to show you how to take a warm and comfortable fleece and turn it into a festive holiday scarf. Then, I'll show you how to make a personalized calendar that will keep you smiling all year long. Let's get started. For the fleece scarf craft, you'll need the following. A yard of fleece fabric, paper doilies, fabric paint, and a paintbrush. Paper to cover your workspace. What's great about fleece is that it's lightweight. It will keep you super warm and it doesn't fray when you cut it. I wanted the width of my scarf to be about 8 inches, so I pre-cut that for my yard. I still have plenty of fabric to make a matching scarf for my BFF, best furry friend. Because we'll be painting, be sure to cover your workspace. I want this scarf to have a real holiday feel to it, so I'm using red fleece with white fabric paint. I put my white paint inside this bowl, but you can also use a paper plate if you want. Lay out your scarf like this so you can work on both ends. These doilies look like snowflakes, right? They're also perfect stencils for a craft like this. You can get them at your local craft store. I'll start with this larger doily. This looks like a good spot. Now I'll put the others around it. There, that will make a great snowflake pattern. I'll do the same with the other side. Dip your paintbrush into the fabric paint and then press onto the cutout part of the doily. Time to do the other side. Remember, no two snowflakes are exactly alike, so we'll want to mix it up a bit here too. I'm going to let this dry for a few hours before pulling off the doilies. And while it's drying, I'm going to do the exact same technique for my bear scarf. Okay, I'm ready to peel off the doilies. These came out great. They really look like snowflakes. I'll finish it off with a spritz of this gold fabric spray paint for an extra glisten. Here are some other examples of the same technique. With this green scarf, I made fringe by cutting strips on the edges and then tying knots. I use an iron-on decal to create an ornament look. This white scarf is also perfect for showing off your holiday spirit. It looks like a candy cane. Now onto the personalized calendar. I'm using a monthly calendar template I found online. You can have an adult help you search for a similar template and then just print it out at home. I'm also using a colorful 8.5 by 11 inch cardstock paper I found at the craft store for the pages of each month and the calendar cover. It's a little sturdier than construction paper. You can use whatever pictures you want for each month page, depending on who you're making the calendar for. If it's for your real BFF, then put lots of pictures of the two of you together. If it's for a sibling, use photos of the entire family. Just make sure to ask an adult for help picking out the pictures first. The calendar I'm making in this episode will be a gift for my younger cousin. She loves her furry friends. So my calendar's theme will be BFFs. I have these pictures of her best furry friends. Twelve of them, one for each month. I also have stickers I've collected to add that extra bit of fun and color. Finally, I need a hole punch, binder rings, and a glue stick. I've organized the pictures by month and then included other images, stickers, and colors that go with each month. Now all I have to do is start gluing the images to the paper, like this. First, the month, and then my main image. I'm using glue stick because it creates a thin, strong adhesive with no lumps or bumps. Do the same for all 12 months. Now it's time to decorate each page with seasonal stickers. January is one of the colder months, 
Where I live, we get a lot of snow. So I'm adding these snowflakes. February is best known for Valentine's Day. I have to add lots of hearts to this month. March is when the weather starts getting warmer. Why not use some bright sunshine stickers? April is known as a rainy month. I'll put some fun umbrella stickers I got at a craft shop on this month. May is when the spring flowers really start to bloom. So I'm adding these to this month's page. June, July, and August are all about the sun and fun for me. September is back to school. I'm adding books, because I love to read. Here are some Halloween images for October. Thanksgiving in November. And finally, December. The end of what I'm sure will be a great year. Time to punch the holes. I'm doing one at a time because cardstock is pretty thick. This hole is where the calendar will hang. The binder rings allow you to easily flip one page behind the other when you're ready for a new month. And there you go, a personalized calendar. Useful and super cute. I hope these holiday crafts are a lot of fun for you to make and give to your friends. They sure were for me. Thanks for watching Craft Shop. See you next time for more awesome do-it-yourself projects. Only on Fairville.com.